Hello guys, Theo here. On today's video, we are picking up the E36 M3 from the shop. The rust fix is completed, so today we're going to see how it looks like. Follow me. So I'm here at the shop, DNG Auto Body Ink, and you can see behind me, there's my baby. Yep, she's ready. Let me go ahead and pay the fees and pick her up right now. I got the keys, so let's go ahead and check out the car. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh man, I haven't been here in a minute. Let's see how she sounds. It's so good. Uh oh. She hasn't run in a minute. All the noises and stuff. Things that I will have to address, okay? So don't get mad at me if the car is not perfect. It's coming from the shower. I have to wash it again after doing some wash and start working on it. All right, let's drive home and uh, pick up from there. I'm back home and the car made it home, as you can see. And since it's getting darker, I'm actually going to wait and film the underside another day when there's enough light so I can show you exactly the work that was done. They did a fantastic job and I'm very happy. Let me now take you to the next day. This is a different day and now I'm going to go ahead and show you the rust that was fixed. If you saw how the rust was before, I have a clip on the beginning of this video. You will see the big difference right now once I crawl under the car. Let me take you there. As you can see here, all this area used to be rust and now it is fixed. Yes, sir. All the way to here. As you saw in the video, all of this was covered in rust. So they changed all these panel and they painted it in black. As you can see, this is where they started working. Kind of like right here, they cut up and then replace everything. They put this black is the material that will protect it and make sure that it doesn't have rust in the future. Yeah, man. So now I can go ahead and drive the car. I mean, this is good for a truck car because soon enough, I'm gonna gut the inside and um, this is where my foot will be, you know, staying on the inside. Yeah, as you can see the bottom portion right there and if you know by checking here you will see that i have an oil leak you can see a little bit of it right here on the floor so i have to go ahead and find a way to fix that first identify where it's where the leak is coming from then go ahead and fix it as you can see it's kind of like around the pen area so i'm thinking that it could be there but I'm going to be changing a lot of things, you know, valve cover gasket, oil filter, housing. But before I do any of those, I want to go ahead and first clean up all of that so that whenever the oil is leaking, I will see exactly where it is coming from. And then from there, I will go ahead and fix in that spot just to avoid from leaking like this. So you saw how the rust got fixed. 
now that the rust is fixed i need to make sure that i fix the hood latch and receptacle so that i can drive the car around that's the next thing that i have to do yes because right now the hood is not closing and if i drive anywhere and kind of go into a speed the hood can open and break the windshield i do not want that to happen so i have to make sure that i fix the hood very quick so that's what i'm going to do next if you want to see that follow me um next week and come here to this channel you will see how i fix that hood latch on this note um, I'm pretty excited now to start working on the car. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of things that I will be doing. I will be doing paint repair and you know fixing all type of things. And all of these things, I have never done it in the past. So this will be the first time that I do any of the things that you would see me doing. For example, I will be fixing this bumper right here and I will research before I do that. And then once I find a way to do it, I'm gonna be showing you guys and replacing it. All right, on this note, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.